All right, heading off to uh, to explore in Dublin. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> just uh, be a gentleman and open the door. Russia. <laughs> So yeah, um, welcome to uh, Krakow in the uh, daytime. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we can actually see what this place is like now. Um, where there's like, loads of drunken revelers out and about. Wow, that's a nice hotel. Hotel Bologna. We were looking. We were looking at some of these hotels. It's strange actually because it's saying it's going to be about <clears throat> um, like close to thirty degrees. I do apologise for the wind as well. I'll put some subtitles on this if need be. <laughs> um, but it's actually quite a cool, cool day so far. Not cool as in whoa, this is cool, man. <laughs> we have to find out if it is a cool day in uh, in Krakow at least because uh, today. We've got a trip to Osvienchim, um, or Auschwitz as it's also known. And uh, excited, but also a little bit nervous because uh, I'm quite an emotional guy. <laughs> anyway, nice to be able to tell you that. And uh, it's going to be a bit harrowing, to, uh, to say the least, to, to experience that. But it's on the wife's bucket list. So we've got to do it. We've got to. <clears throat> We've got to give it a go. But uh, yeah, we've not been to the uh, <clears throat> to the central central part yet. Look at this. People making fresh um, what are they called? No, they're um, pretzels. And there's the shaka, the 24-hour thing. Look, <laughs> we came uh, we came out the wrong way yesterday. Actually, I mean, it's bright. Maybe I'll take back what I said about it being windy. Um, it was, uh, it's a bit yeah, it's a bit warmer than we expected, but then we could always go back to the hotel. Um, but yeah, we went the wrong way basically. Turned out we were, we were going a completely wrong direction to get to where we needed to be, and it's pretty much just a straight walk. And uh, <laughs> we didn't know, we didn't know until uh, until on, <laughs> on the way back, yeah. <laughs> And we walk back and we're like, hang on a sec, <laughs> there's a shortcut. And we're like, ah oh, man, typical. But yeah, nice little park, very pretty. Lots of, uh, lots of scenery. And that's what I'm all about. I'm about the scenery in the morning. Wonder what that was then, I thought a tram was behind me. <laughs> Look at this. It's pretty. Make sure I get it in. Yeah. So, interesting start to the day. The wife had to, as she says, put her face on. Always makes her sound like she's slender man. Yeah, you know, I've got to put my face on. I'm like, you didn't put your face on already? <laughs> I'll wake up with mine. So that took a while. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's a female thing. Sheplashem. I'm saying sorry to everybody in Polish, and I don't know if they're Polish. Could be apologising in Polish to English people for all I know. But uh, yeah, <laughs> ready to rock and stuff, and uh, yeah, turned out, uh, yeah, turned out, didn't even need it. So. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, well, yeah, that's my opinion. It's beautiful about it. Well, obviously if she wants to wear a bit of makeup then. Gotta wait, gotta do the waiting. But yeah, the day is picking up. I might be going back for some shorts, but wow, look, what a view. Very pretty. So, yeah, today we're gonna gonna go and do a little bit of exploration of uh, Krakow before before the journey to Osvienshim on the train. Um, 
Wow, <laughs> that picked up. It was at least five seconds ago. That's almost as uh, crazy as British weather. I think it's because we were in the shade. I think we were in the shade, perhaps. Should have stayed there. <laughs> oh well, I'll top up my tan. That's the most important thing. But yeah, look at that. What a pretty city. Really like it, man. I'm assuming we're going the right way. This kind of looks familiar. But yeah, it's all guesswork currently because it's our first first actual day in Krakow. Um, yeah, the beauty of this place blows me away. Just like lots of old buildings. Look at that, and that, and that. Oh um, yeah, Krakow, Edinburgh, Rochester, Cusco. Oh, in Peru. San Francisco. Oh, Tbilisi. That's in uh, Georgia. So these signs have uh, a different. Like Edinburgh, we weren't there that long ago. It's like five to nine in the morning. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it says Edinburgh, you probably can't see it because, but yeah, the abstract, the actual beauty of this place. Just That's every right. building. That's wrong, it says it's six o'clock. How could they do this to us? Yeah, but it's not. We've time traveled. <laughs> what it's is the time? Now 10 o'clock. We've, we've lost enough time from the, uh, from the bloody, the flights. And lose more time. <laughs> These streets, very clean. It reminds me somewhat of Germany, actually, in terms of uh, how clean and hygienic everything is. What's really cool as well is uh, everything is in. Oh, not everything, but a lot of things are in English. I think you won't be able to read. There's no point. Won't be able to read it. Oh, really? That's better. Yes. So we haven't really got a specific goal today in Krakow itself. Tomorrow is a day where we explore Krakow in full. Um, I think today it'll be more a uh, more of just kind of looking around, seeing what what's about exploring the place during the day um but yeah we're, we're back in the shade let's just stay here let's let's not explore let's just stay in the shade okay. all day until it's time to go home yeah yeah another very beautiful building wow yeah the the architecture here is stunning and uh yeah our hotel, which is quite interesting actually. So it just goes to show we picked a place that the locals enjoy. Lot, lots of lots of Polish people. So we're kind of one of the only English couple there, I believe, aren't we? I think so. I met another English person there, yeah. So obviously that's where my Polish has come in a little bit more handy than I expected it would. I've had to speak a lot more than I thought I would. Not because the Polish can't speak English, they speak English perfectly fine, but Again, it's just down to, uh, for me, a, uh, a respect thing. Respecting people's cultures, respecting people's languages, respecting people's cities as best as I can. Um, whilst trying to document it and trying to, uh, trying to get a feel for the place. <clears throat> ah, punchki. Put some punchki here. Shall we get some? Thank you. Okay, yeah. wicked. We're gonna go and get some punchki and we'll be right back. Here we are with our fudge uh, punchki. Looks really cool, man. Oh, How is it? It's really nice. Is it good? You won't like it. I won't like it. I think she's going to steal this one off me as well, people. <laughs> so uh, what we got here? So we've got fudge filling. We've got like icing. What are these? Are these like bits of fudge as well? Chocolate? Oh, it's like chocolate. Wow, wow, wow. I won't be able to have too much of this. My uh, my dietitian won't thank me for that. <laughs> so. Uh... It's like a fudge coin in the middle. Oh, okay. Oh, a fudge coin. No. Wow. So you know like the chocolate coins that you get in like the um... Yeah, soft sort of maybe give me a... Film, um... film me. Sorry. No, no, flip the camera around. 
Okay, so my first try of punch key. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. All right, so just tried some punch key. That was really nice. Very sweet though. What a way to start the morning with a, with a diabetes overload. <laughs> no, in all, se in all seriousness, it was fully worth it. So it was, yeah, it was a toffee, toffee field donut. So the donuts in England are slightly different. So in, in Poland, punch key, they, uh, they use a glaze. In uh, England, we have uh, a uh, like powdered sugar, or sometimes just normal caster sugar. Oh, oh near, near. <laughs> yeah, now nah, we don't want a guided tour. We do it all ourselves. But I mean, look at this. The camera's all. Let's get it back in. There we go. <laughs> so it does help to learn some of the local lingo, to be honest, of wherever you go, because communication is key. Um, I think, you know, we as English, we have to try a little bit harder because we get a bad rap. We uh, deserved sometimes, but we're, we're known as uh, some of the laziest people in the world when it comes to learning languages. And uh, I get that. <laughs> With me, I try to learn as much as I can, within reason. I don't want to learn every grammatical structure and stuff, but as long as I've got enough to communicate, then I'm happy. Um, yeah, for me, it's it's more about being able to speak to the locals and see the smiles on people's faces. You know, when you say mi wego dinya to someone, which is uh, have a nice day, big smile on their face. Or when someone serves you something and you try it, and you say fishne, which is delicious. Look at that in the morning. Eh? Beautiful. We're getting closer. Look at that. Look at this. Here's the square. Absolutely beautiful. Can't fathom. Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> a duck. Probably better keep the wife away from that. She'll try and make me buy it for her. But. Yeah, quite a building. Pretty, pretty impressive. Oh, it's quite a touristy place though, Klakov, which is, I kind of knew that, I expected that. Um, it makes the communication slightly easier when you can speak a little bit of Polish and the person can speak a little bit of English because you can, <laughs> you can try your best and then devolve into kind of point in. Yo. Yeah, look at these guys. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. Okay. I won't, I won't. I won't try and get a photo because uh, they're probably, <laughs> probably charge me. And uh, I'm saving my Zvotis for, uh, for food and alcohol beverages, well, alcoholic beverages. So, uh, yeah, trying to uh, trying to do somewhat of a food tour, but at the same time, a historical kind of tour as well. Me and the wife were quite fascinated by culture and history, architecture. I mean, when you come to places like this, you know, that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. You know, this place in the uh, in the evening was uh, was amazing, but during the day, it just takes on a whole other vibe. I mean, look at that! You can't beat that. You can't. You know. But um, yeah, in terms of in terms of plans today, as I said, it's going to be a lot of um, you know trying to trying to get round. On the trains as i say we get there we leave krakow for osvian chim around about quarter to two and then uh, we'll get back about eight and everything's still open in this place at about that time so uh we'll still have a chance to have a have a drink and some food here as well um 
I don't think I'm gonna day drink, <laughs> as tempting as it would be. Might have one beer, I don't know. After 12, I don't know what the etiquette is in Poland, actually. I did speak to someone and she said uh, that after a certain time, you know, they don't, they don't serve beer like certain periods of the day or something, but that was a bit of a translation, a little bit of a language barrier. So maybe I didn't understand or she didn't understand my question. I asked her what, like, what beer she recommended. I don't think she really knew what I was talking about. Um, but everyone here is really humble actually. Like they, they say that their uh, their English isn't good. But then they'll go on and smash it. Ooh. A market. Nice. Let's uh let's go and have a little look inside here. So I'm all for markets. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit more touristy. So uh yeah. Lost me there. Hang on, let me turn up the brightness. Here we go. <laughs> a slight bit more brightness. But the lighting in here is incredible. Maybe I need to get a better phone. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you probably lost me for a few seconds there. So this is the market. And it sells a, I mean, my wife is probably gonna wanna go and get a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a fridge magnet. That's somewhat of a tradition of ours. We tend to go and buy fridge magnets everywhere we go. Not everywhere, like that would, our fridge would be quite busy. But um, yeah, we try and buy as many fridge magnets as we can. Oh, blimey, almost tripped over. So uh, currently, yeah, we've got Kos, we've got Budapest, we've got yeah, various things. Uh, do you want to buy a magnet from here or? Where do you want to buy a magnet from? Um, I don't mind where. Um, yeah, there's some down here. Just follow the wife, I guess. I'll let her magnet, um, I like her magnet, <laughs> her magnet magnet. <laughs> her magnetic magnet. Take us to the place that she wants to buy a magnet from. There is, there is. Have you found one you liked? There's lots of choice, so hang on, let me, let me show. Yeah, lots of different options. Um, the wife does like her magnets. She's quite specific about the magnets. Um, so this could take some time, hopefully not too long, but um, we'll see. She, she's, uh, she's, she's readily looking. That one. Uh, Chin dobre. Um, Chen moge płacić kato? Nie. Oh, okay. No problem. Do widzenia. Okay, yeah, they don't accept card in that one. I think it'd be the same. Maybe this is uh, yeah, not a. This one accepts card. Okay, you can you can pick a uh, <laughs> pick one. <laughs> And I've got to purchase it, obviously, so I'll have to stop filming. Because uh, I need to transfer the money to your account, ideally. But yeah, there seems to be a card machine. Okay, cool, right, I'm gonna let, she's picked one, I'm gonna buy it for her. Okay, so we brought the magnet, and a uh, huge smile from the person who I purchased that from, from a Polish. Although her English was very good. Very, very good, in fact. Um, but unfortunately, I have to purchase everything on this phone and film everything. <laughs> I might have to switch to my wife's phone actually to make it a little bit easier. Cause, uh, but then this is going to be the problem because I'm going to have two different folders, two different albums. I might just transfer the money to you in a bit, yeah, darling. Yeah. And then I can continue filming without her because uh, you can't pay and film at the same time. You can't do that, it's not possible. And we don't, we don't really like to pay by, uh, by cash. We're, we're, a ca we're a cashless, we're a cashless couple here. Um, 
So yeah, oh god, there's so many tour tour guide thingies everywhere. A little bit thirsty though. I wouldn't mind going to get a drink. I'm, uh, I'm bloody parched. The thing is, though, with tourist traps, which is what a lot of these places are. It's a very pretty square though. So obviously, naturally, they're gonna pretty. they're gonna they're gonna bump the price up a little bit. But uh, yeah. It increases increases the cost of things but anyway i'm going to transfer this money to tam and so i can actually continue filming when i'm trying to try, try to make a transaction and whatnot so give me a moment to do that and then we'll be cooking on gas man we probably look like tourists <laughs> look at this i don't know what that is but <laughs> it's popular but popular with the tourists and if it's popular with tourists, I'm not interested. I say that, but I'm walking in a tourist square. I try to stay away from the more touristy stuff myself. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't interest me. It's always just highly marked up prices, um, unfair deals, things that I'm not particularly interested in buying, i.e., what do you call them, fridge magnets? <laughs> no disrespect to the wife, she loves them. But we're just going on a little walking tour. The punch key was nice and filling actually. That that really did its job. I feel like I've, uh, I've eaten a mammoth. To be fair though, we did have that uh, breakfast in the thingy, but we got a, we got a long day ahead of us. It's like a, an hour and a half journey on the train. Never been on the Polish train. Well, never been to Poland, have I? So of course not been on the Polish train. All new experiences, but that's what we live for. We live for new experiences, we live to try new things. That's what life's about in my opinion. I spent many years just kind of sitting on the couch, on the dole, not really doing much with my life when I was younger. And then something kind of kicked in. I think having a son probably did that for me. I had my son and I was like, probably better, probably better do something with my life. <laughs> so I went off and uh, became a, a web developer. I went back to, went to college, studied, became a web developer. Went to university, then became a web developer. I was actually a teacher for a bit as well, believe it or not. It's funny to think that me covered in tattoos and piercings, he looks a bit like a hippie. A hippie surfer, hobo dude. I was once a teacher. Then again, I didn't always look like this. I used to be quite uh, quite well dressed. <laughs> but yeah, who cares about material? Materialism, you know, brandishing your wealth is pointless. Memories are more important. Whoa, <laughs> I've tripped over again. In Dublin. Yeah, everyone's really friendly here. It's really nice. And the streets are beautiful as well, right, honestly. I know I keep saying that, but... I, I love walking, I do. Absolutely love it. You know, walking, you can find some of the most interesting things. <clears throat> yeah, but I haven't transferred you the money. <laughs> I can do half, half, I can make a transaction at the very end. I need to transfer you the money. I've done everything I need to do but that. Look, there we go, see, look, I told you yesterday, day one, running into the local cars. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, a poor habit of not knowing where I'm walking. But another thing I've heard of as well here is uh, something called milk bars and uh, I want to try one of them as well. There's so many dishes here I want to try. We just don't have enough time. Like we had the time before our air flight or airport. Our airline carrier, our airline decided that it would be a good idea to go. Let's knock 10 hours off your journey. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine paying for something and the people being like, oh, I'm sorry, but yeah, we've got to, we've got to nick 10 hours off here, I'm afraid. The funny thing is though, they've not given us back the money for them 10 hours over. They haven't, no, no. No, that's the thing, like, I think it's the only industry where they can actually, ow, walking into posts. It's the only industry where, <laughs> it's the only industry that I know of where they could turn around and be like, hey, you previously had eight hours of your journey, but now you have one. But will we give you any money? Or any compensation for that? No. Well, you beggars for a refund. Yes, you will. <laughs> this, this is how it is. 
Traveling is not supposed to be all easy and all fun. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to challenge you. Ah, here we go. Find somewhere we can get a drink. Do you want to get it or shall I or? Okay, my wife's gonna get a drink, sorry. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Many options, I'm gonna guarantee she goes for Coke. <laughs> I got confused there, because it was like 5.30, but I, I'm obviously thinking about the UK, so I was like, five pound 30? I was like, no, it's not that anymore. <laughs> what it, oh, look at that, see, what a guess. Coca-Cola. All this way for a Coca-Cola. Um, I'm gonna have a, can't even open the fridge. I'm gonna have a, Iced tea. Iced tea? No. There you go. Have you got money in your card? Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. I'm so thirsty. Nice. Yeah. Things that are like this are really good. Stumbling across things and awesome. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's what it's all about, man. Like, going out your comfort zone. Like, I remember when I first started traveling abroad, I was so scared of speaking, like, the language to anybody. Um, I was so afraid of, I was so afraid of, like, conversing with people and um, so afraid of, um, trying to trying to learn the, the uh, yeah, trying trying to learn a language and trying to speak it to the locals because it's a uh, it's a difficult thing to do you know um, you know pronounce especially when the language is so different uh, like Polish is vastly different well not vastly it's pretty different from English um, there we go I'll get you to do that for me oh, I've had water fountain. Yeah, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. There's a beautiful water fountain over there. Can I have a bit? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Apparently the Coke here tastes different, so I'll let Tammy be the judge of that. Oh, wow. Any good? You won't like it. I won't like iced tea. I love iced tea. It's my favourite drink in the world. You won't like that. Oh, I did, yeah. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I think currently it's like, do you know how hot it is, roughly? So we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there one day. Tell me the technology. That's it, yeah. Tell me the technology queen. But yeah, I decided I'm going to go back to the hotel room first to go and get back into some shorts because uh, it's hot, as I mentioned. 28. 28 degrees. And I'm in jeans. I'm rocking around in jeans in 28 degree weather. Um, so not the funnest. I knew it was going to be 28 degrees and I chose to wear my, my jeans. I did pack I didn't, the shorts. You did pack the shorts, <laughs> so that's good. I've used quite a lot of battery already for this uh, vlog. So, i got an older phone. You probably see the quality isn't the most amazing. It's like a Samsung S9 Plus. I'm quite behind on the times. I could afford a new phone. I could, but I choose not to. I choose to put all of my money into travel. Um, that's what I do. I don't... At home, I don't drink much. I'll have the odd drink uh, to do a taste test or something. Um, I don't gamble. I don't smoke. I'm quite Ooh. boring, really. I just all I do is game, game and cook and walk. Yeah. It's, it's different. different. Let me have a try. Different. Nastrova. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers with a uh, coke. Let's try. Let's see what Polish coke's like. Yeah, it's not sweet. God, God, almost got run over there. That guy on the bike going down there. It was like, you idiot, you idiot. I think that's what you were saying anyway. Like, 
I'm not. I'm not, con I'm not conversing Polish. Oh yeah, I know enough to get by. Um, that's a good thing though, actually, because uh, where I'm from in Peterborough, whoa, where I'm from in Peterborough, um, we've got a large Polish community, so it's good, man. Like, hopefully, I can chat with those guys a bit more in my local area, be a bit more chatty with them. Um, yeah, try and learn a bit more about their culture from someone who's grown up in uh, England, but as a Polish national perspective because that's quite interesting as well to get that side of things um yeah what a beautiful park really nice and uh, as tammy mentioned there are some beautiful fountains so let's take a stroll and go and have a look at the fountains now oh my old legs i'm 34 and uh i do more walking now than i ever did in my life strangely enough I think uh, I didn't like walking as a kid, or even as a teenager, or even as a young adult really, I didn't like walking, I got the bus everywhere. And now I try to walk as much as I can, because look at the world, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful world, a beautiful world full of beautiful people. Not everyone's beautiful, not every part is beautiful, but hey, sometimes you stumble upon beauty, just like we are now. So let's go and have a closer look at this fountain. Sorry, love, do you want me to get you in the shot or? <laughs> Don't wanna. There we go, people. So, let's get a bit quiet. I don't know if we can, how close we can get. Oh, there's a little path, there we go. Just uh, skip round, Tammy. So apparently we can't swim. Zakash uh, Kobieli, or something like that. Yeah, I don't think I could swim in that, even if I wanted to. But that's pretty, isn't it? really nice yeah I kind of want to dive in there actually it's uh <laughs> it's so hot but um yeah this is what it's all about it's about making memories and it's about you know it's about just doing what you want to do I know I kind of have a habit of giving inspirational speeches to people but I do believe that there is a uh, there's potential in everybody and everything. I believe only anyone can do what they want. Like I wanted to travel so badly when I was younger, but I just kept saying it. I kept saying that I wanted to. I kept saying it. I kept saying it, but I never did it. Yeah, this trip to Krakow cost me. So I think the flights were about 200 quid for both of us. About that, about 200 quid. Yeah. About 200 quid, roughly. Was it a bit more than that? No. It was a hundred. A bit less than that actually. It was a hundred and seventy-five. One seven five, yes. For the flights. And that was for the flights and the train. That was for the flights and the train as well. And then because obviously I paid one point five for the hotel. Yes. Didn't I? Yeah, so what we did was I paid for the flights, 175 and that's for two of us as well, if it was just one of us. Yeah, that would have been, what? 175 divided by two, Sam. Help me out, yeah? Um, 175. <laughs> My maths is terrible. And, uh, so 50, 80, just shy of... 85-ish, 85, yeah. 85 pound 50. 85 50. 85 50, there you go. My brain, like my brain was like, it's there somewhere. It's probably wrong. Eighty seven fifty. Eighty seven fifty, there you go. It's about eighty eight it's no less than ninety quid yeah. each. No less than ninety quid each. And uh yeah, it's um you know we want to go to the Maldives for instance, right? We've been talking about that for years. And one day we turned around and said, Well, we don't have to spend we, yeah, the flights are two grand for both of us, but we don't have to put two grand on straight away. We can save that two grand over the course of like a year, 10, you know, 10 months to a year, and save like that and then pay it. So we just work out how much we can put aside. Oh, Varvel Castle is in this direction. That's what? All right. <laughs> the princess wants to go and see the castle. The princess. <laughs> the witch. The witch. That's what the boys call me. The boys call me. The witch. the witch wants to see the castle. 
she wants, she wants, she wants to kidnap the princess. But anyway, let's go and uh, find this castle and I'll get it, get it filmed. All right, people. So we're coming up on Varvel Castle, which is on Varvel Hill. And let's, uh, let's get the first look together of what Varvel Castle is all about. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that bad boy. Just looking at it, you wouldn't think it's a castle, would you? That's a bit of pretty, isn't it? Let's get a better angle. There you go. What a country, man. What a beautiful country. Absolutely beautiful. The wife's taking uh, some photos. So yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna walk up it because uh, I need to get fit. Try and cross the road safely. <laughs> We're not used to the opposite side of the road. Oh, walking across pedestrian crosses, but you can't wait. You can't cross. Yeah, until the cars have gone. that's very true. On a pedestrian crossing, you can't. You can't walk on it. In the way that you can in England. On a pedestrian crossing, it's um, nice. Not not too shabby, is it? On a pedestrian crossing, it's... Uh, I'll step back so the wife can take some photos. Oh, cool. Uh, don't want to get in your shots. I don't want to ruin the shots. Pedestrian crossings in England, you can wait at them. A car will stop. Sometimes. Not always. I tend to get angry at the cars that don't stop. And, uh, yeah they uh you cross but here it's slightly different so i wasn't really prepared for this but <laughs> it's uh white lines and you kind of just have to wait <laughs> you know you just wait and just hope that a space opens up so yeah nice old steep hill Still not as steep as one in Lincoln. That's where my mum is from. And uh, wow, look at that. I stay away from that bit, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> wow, look at the architecture and the scenery. And the uh, getting to the gates. Like a guided tour? Oh no, we don't need a guided tour. <sighs> Woo. This is a workout, isn't it, Tam? It is. We need to go to the gym. Okay, we exactly. We moved to Krak Krakow and we just walk up and down this hill. Hopefully, that's the punch keys burn off or the donuts, as we call them in England. Wow. Very cool. It's quite scary actually. <laughs> well, you've got to take security seriously. Whew. That one, <laughs> that one the funnest of excursions. <laughs> hey people, I'll have to uh mute this little part out and do a voiceover because there was some copyrighted music being played nearby on a phone by some youths and uh, I don't think I had the courage to go up to them and uh, take their phone out of the hand and uh, tell them to stop <laughs> and that's not my place so um, I'll do a little voiceover here but yeah as you can see an absolutely beautiful view um, the castle was stunning um, Quite a few people trying to uh, sell their tourist services, as you heard there, but you know that that's expected. Um, the wife dealt with that part, but um, yeah, I'd certainly recommend coming to check this place out if you're in the area. Um, Varvel Castle, which sits atop Varvel Hill, beautiful, can't go wrong. Hey, and it was boiling. Typical. <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask, don't you, love? <laughs> I'm gonna steal a bit more. You go first, love. 
Yeah. You go first. I'll, I'll neck it. <laughs> oh. It took a lot of power. A lot of power to not neck that. <laughs> but, yeah, beautiful. Let's get a, a panoramic. Wow. Nah, you wouldn't. But this was probably an old fortification as well. If you look at the structure. Well, no, no, I mean, it's probably like they. Wow! Oh my god! An electric lawnmower. Wow. We're, we're behind on the times in England. We need electric lawnmowers. We need one. Or manual lawnmower. I need one of them for the garden. Right, let's go and explore. Lordy Lord, just as you think the beauty is done with, you have something like this. You have to bear with me because I'm scared of heights. I'm very scared of heights actually. <laughs> but um, I will do my best to get the pan panorama shot of Krakow. Whoa, uneven ground. Look at this. That view does not lie. That view does not mess around. This is what it's all about, people. This is what it's all about. Okay, so we're having to uh, Make a slight detour home because um unfortunately probably due to recording for like 15 minutes straight my phone's an old model um my phone is uh, near enough dying and uh, as i said we've got a trip to uh Svienchim today i think that's how you pronounce it i don't i don't claim to be an authority on that i just heard heard it said once <laughs> So I tried to mimic it like a parrot. Um, but yeah, we plan to go back to the hotel room. I'm gonna get in some shorts because we're probably still at about 28 degrees centigrade. Probably a little bit warmer than that now, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we uh we're due to do that, so yeah, I think uh we're gonna head back. And uh, ah, Zvozhek Głowny, uh, Zvozhek Głowny, I think that's pronounced, is uh, Central Train Station. So that's where we're going to be. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be uh, a fairly straightforward process. But who knows? But yeah, it's just so hot, man. Like, if I don't get a tan, then. <laughs> I haven't got my bandana as you probably noticed today because we went to Kos and I ended up getting sunburn. I got a sunburn when I was wearing a bandana. And as you can probably imagine, that meant one thing, which was a I got a tandana. <laughs> as we affectionately called it. And as you probably noticed, we don't have any streams from Kos or Budapest because we didn't uh, really, we had the channel back then, but we wasn't, we didn't have the confidence to stream, uh, just to stream, not stream. We didn't have the confidence to record in public like this because we cared too much about what people thought. But now, if someone sees you with a camera in your hand, they're gonna assume you're probably vlogging. They just leave you be, don't they? And to be honest, yeah, a lot of people don't really, really don't care less. They don't care less, they, you know. Again, I try, I don't record people. Someone came and said, oh, you can record me, it's fine. Thought, okay, cool, let's have a chat. But you even notice in the shops, I try and keep my phone to one side. Like I point it away from the person so they know I'm not filming them. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll still converse with them so you can catch an authentic conversation <laughs> and have a laugh at my Polish attempts. But I try, I try, I do more than most, most people. Most people go to a country who can speak English, like, ah, it's all good, bruv. But, 
English. Very common. Oh, oh punch key. Can you smell that? Yep. Punchkania. So, Dobra Punchkania. So that means, uh, I think that means good, good donut. Dobra Punchkania. Do you want another punch, punch key? Yes. No. <laughs> You're all punch keyed out. Let's see what they've got. They got rows and stuff like that. So some good choices. But there's some pretzels as well. I don't know if you can see that, the pretzel stand. Got like a pizza place. Decent prices, like it's uh, like 29 Svoti for a burger, which is about a fiver. It's about the same as in England, really. A burger joint. You're looking at about fiver for a burger. But then this is more of a touristy place as well, so naturally the prices are going to be a little bit higher. And you kind of have to accept that. <laughs> but then because of the conversion rate, um, you kind of end up paying pretty much what you pay in your home country anyway. And if you're willing to do that there, you've got to be willing to do it here, I guess. And it's helping people make money. You know, that's what it's all about. And at the end of the day, people have got to put food on the table and they've got to feed their families. So, you know. I prefer to go to the uh, the more kind of smaller family shops when I can. I'm not seeing any just yet. But obviously, there's also the language barrier because when you get a little bit more out of the out of the streets, you get into the places where they really can't speak English, and uh, yeah, that becomes a bit of a problem when it comes to uh, when it comes to communication. Uh, but listen. It is what it is. <laughs> nice breeze. Okay. Yeah, this is where we came from yesterday. We didn't quite see the beauty of it because we were uh, we're in the dark. Chef Rasham, Chris just walked out in front of a car. Yeah, but heading back to the hotel now, and here we are at the. Uh... <sighs> so annoying. <laughs> um, can I flip this round? No, I just took a photo of myself. There you go. At least I could take a photo of myself. Can I double tap it to flip? No, no. I can't show you. Well, that's it's hotel. You won't ski anyway. But yeah, it's really nice. I definitely recommend it to people. Anyway, I'm gonna go charge my phone, get some shorts on, and then go to Austria.